Hey guys, welcome back to another reaction video. You know, with all this you know, craziness, with this pandemic, you know, going on, I thought that I wouldn't be doing a reaction video, you know, at least until this whole quarantine thing is done, right? Because movies are not, they're not coming out. But us Asian people, we don't give a fuck. It's actually not that funny. You should joke about that. But, um... You know, Train to Busan... The first one is, uh... In my opinion, one of the best... Horror movie of the uh, of the past decades. And, um... One of the more overlooked, too. Like, not a whole lot of people talk about that movie. Even though it's so good. Um... I think it was overlooked at the Oscar. I, th I thought it should have been nominated for at least best uh, foreign language movie, but it didn't. It was uh, it was a shame because the movie is really good. And now we got a sequel called uh, Peninsula. I didn't know why they didn't call it Train. To Busan, I thought I was. <laughs> All right, let me stop. Um, let's just watch the trailer right quick. Um, I heard they were doing a uh, an American remake of the first one. It's not confirmed. I don't think it's just rumors. But if it does end up happening, I think it would be really cool if you guys um, film it in Minnesota because we do have. A light rail system that is quite um, it's quite something so I'm gonna say so without any uh, without any further ado let's just watch this trailer boom All right man this looks like a Call of Duty mission oh yeah Four years later. What the fuck? <laughs> That's horrifying. Oh. Hmm. What the f fight club? What the hell is going on? Oh my god. This is fucking insane. Was that zombie break dancing? What was he doing? Oh man. Holy shit. Holy shit. Yo, what's up guys? Wow. Damn. I think, I believe, right, that this movie, how should I phrase this, this movie is to Train to Busan what Aliens was to Alien. You take a classic horror movie, right? Well, Train to Busan is not necessarily cl a classic, not yet. But you take a really, really good horror movie, a, a very um, self, it's not self contained, um, it's a, a very um, um, small, no, a very, um, well, I guess contained, right? A very personal and a very um, claustrophobic horror movie. Right. And for the sequel, you just turn everything to 11. You make it a, a, a an action movie. Right. 
You dial everything up to maximum. From this trailer, I feel like this is what, this is the dire the, the direction that they're going. And I cannot be more happy, right? I, I cannot be happier. And it looks like they fixed the one thing, the one problem that I have with the, the first movie. Um, it, it wasn't a big problem, you know, it, it was super minor, but still a problem, right? Um, the blood. In the first movie, for some reason, the blood... <laughs> it looks like sriracha to me, I don't know why. But that blood did not look like blood. It looks like sriracha. Because it, it, it was, it was kind of orange. If you guys remember from the first movie, it, the blood was kind of orange. Right? And it was thick. Like, it wasn't like liquid. For some reason, that blood looked just exactly like sriracha to me. But other than that, I thought the movie was, it, it was awesome. It was awesome. You know, zombie movie. It was unique. It, um... Very original. It's very hard uh, breaking, uh, especially toward the end. Um, I love the characters, right? They're f uh, very flawed. They're not perfect people, and they 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 felt like human, you know. And the zombie, of course, they were horrifying. I never did a review for that first movie. I remember talking about it. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do a review, and then. You know, stuff happened, and I kind of forgot. Um, but that movie was a was an eight out of ten for me. You know, Train to Busan, Peninsula, right here. I know it's, it's a bit too early to say this, but this could be, you know, this could end up getting my uh, getting into my top ten movie of the year. I'm not gonna like that. This trailer is just phenomenal. Um, I think it's very smart to, um, to to jump four years into the future because I mean, you you just look around, you know, the environment, and you look around the world. There's so much story behind, you know. Um, for some reason, kind of reminded me a little bit, just a little bit, of uh, the Division Two. You know, I don't know why. You know, post-apocalyptic world, right? Abandoned buildings, people roaming the the cities with guns. You know, um, humans taking sides, right? Some crazy ass motherfuckers has like it's huge, like a uh, Fight Club, this like uh, cage. The, you know, they capture humans and they put them in there and fight the, the zombies. That's, that, oh man, man. Gladiator, there, there you go, that, that was the word that I was looking for in this, uh, this arena. This movie looks so good, dude. Like, I, when is it coming out? It just said, it just said coming soon. I mean, that's fair, you know, with, the, with this whole pandemic, uh, coronavirus going on. You don't know when you're going to release the movie. A bunch of movies got pushed back. Um, it, it's unfortunate because it, this, 2020, 2020 is also the year that I actually got ticket to Comic-Con. I think I told you guys this, but I, me and my friend, we actually got ticket to the, to, uh, the San Diego Comic-Con. And we, we were going to go. Um, but um, Well, they, they haven't canceled it yet. They haven't canceled it yet, so still have hope. Um, but anyway, Train to Busan presents Peninsula, the trailer. Have you seen it? Let me know in the comment section how you feel about it. Did you, li uh, did you like it? Did you not like it? And if you enjoy my reaction, hit the like button and subscribe. You want to see more reactions like this? And with that being said, I'll see you soon.